Kelsey and Kendra. So today Kelsey and I are going to be doing our September favorites for you guys and we're super excited because fall is finally here and I'm so happy to finally say that because I feel like fall took forever to get here. I feel like summer was like six months instead of three. Like I just feel like it was so dragged out. Yes. So I'm just excited to have a weather change and then a season change. It's just like refreshing fresh refreshing start, like a yes. fresh start right so we have quite a few makeup products to talk about today and we have two hair products to mention to you guys and one skincare type item so we're just gonna get right into it so it wouldn't really be a glam twins favorites video if we didn't have some of the same products so the first product that we both have is a foundation and this has been all over youtube mm -hmm. this is the urban decay all-nighter waterproof longwear liquid foundation mm -hmm. and kendra and i have been loving this foundation yes. obsessed with the packaging the formulation is great the color is great i love that it has a pump mm -hmm. so it's not really messy at all really nice packaging yes and i love that this foundation is waterproof like mm -hmm. We did get this during the summertime when it first came out, but I wish they would have brought this out earlier in the summer because yeah. I would have been wearing this all summer because mm -hmm. our favorite foundation this past summer was our NARS Velvet Matte like yeah. liquid foundation, the skin tint. That's yeah. really a foundation. That's yeah. what we wore all summer, but I wish they would have came out with this sooner because the formula is so amazing. It dries matte, it's full coverage, it's oil free. It's the best foundation for oily skin. Like what more could you ask for in a foundation? And it's not cakey, which I like as well. No, it's not. It has a nice airbrush finish, which I love. Mm -hmm. And I'm wearing it today. So am I. Mm -hmm. And we're both in the shade 11. The only thing about their shades is that they go on a little bit lighter than they dry. So they do dry darker. When they first go on, it kind of looks like, kind of like, too light. Like masky, kind mm -hmm. of like mm -hmm. Halloween makeup, but it dries like, down to like a slight of a darker shade so when you're picking your shade make sure you get the shade that looks a tad bit lighter on your skin because it's gonna dry darker if yeah. that makes sense after it oxidizes into the skin but we definitely put this to the test because on our book tour we did go to miami about two weeks ago almost two weeks ago now and it was so humid and hot and we were kind of sweaty and this mm -hmm. did not move like i had this on all day long and it did not move because during the days of the book tour we basically had makeup on all day so it was a really good time to test out this foundation and it definitely did a great job and at first i thought it was kind of gimmicky when i saw the title when i saw all nighter because i know this is like a play off of their setting spray which is so, like one of our favorites yes it's mm -hmm. like our favorite setting spray the d slick mm -hmm. setting spray though is our favorite so i was kind of skeptical when they came out with this foundation because like i said i'm not a fan of the all nighter setting spray we like the D-Slick the best, Yeah. but this works phenomenal, and I think what made me want to buy it is it said waterproof, so I was like, okay, I get it. Yeah. Okay, so my next favorite is another foundation, but I have been using this as a concealer, and I did mention this foundation in a favorites a while ago, right after I did a review on it, and it's the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer, and a lot of you guys loved how that foundation looked on my skin tone. The finish was great. Um, it was, I think, the Everyday Summer Glow Makeup that I did a while ago. I did use this foundation in that video and it quickly became like one of my holy grail foundations but when I did the review Clinique sent me a few different shades and this was like the third shade they sent me and it was like obviously too light to use as a foundation so what I've been using it for is a concealer because I was like I don't want it to go to waste so it is a foundation and concealer so I was just like why not just try to use this as a concealer and I have been loving it. I am wearing it today as a concealer. It doesn't move. It doesn't budge. It's not cakey. And it blends out beautifully. Like when I blend it out with my beauty blender, it looks so great. And I also like that it doesn't break me out under here. Because I don't know, my skin is just weird sometimes. Certain concealers, I always get like little like white bumps like underneath my eyes if my skin does not really like it. So my skin does react kind of crazy to certain concealers. So this did not do that to me. So I was really happy about that. And this is in the color 17 Nutty. And this is just a really good concealer shade to help brighten your under eyes as well. And if you feel like this color is too light for you, you can always go like a shade up. They have a lot of shades in this foundation. So this is a great concealer and foundation. Imagine how long this is gonna last me. Yeah, as a concealer. As a concealer, because yeah. you don't use as much like you do with foundation. Because foundation, mm -hmm. you honestly put all over your face. But this, I only do like, you know, the major spots that I wanna highlight and conceal. So this is bomb. My new favorite concealer okay so the next item that i have is from anastasia and this is also a concealer this is the it just says concealer so <laughs> i'm confused like i bought this and i knew it was the concealer like that they were known for like being full coverage this is a full coverage concealer 
I don't know like the proper name that they have on the site, but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Full Coverage Concealer. It's probably the name. Probably. <laughs> um, but this is in the shade number five. And I got this specifically for carving out my brows. After I'm done filling them in, I like to go in with the concealer to clean it up and make it look nicer and sharper and cleaner. And this stuff is phenomenal like a little bit goes the longest way and this will cover anything a lot of people use this concealer obviously to carve out the brows like what i'm using it for but they also use it to like cover imperfections or dark spots or blemishes or anything like that um i did try this under my eyes and it dries too fast to blend out like i went in with my beauty blender and it was like really hard to blend like under the eye so I'm not a fan of this under the eye, but I'm obsessed with it for carving out my brows. It's amazing. It's really thick and it lasts a super long time. This is amazing if you have not gotten your brows done in a long time and they're just looking janky and you need some help. This will help you out. Like this has saved me for like the past month because I haven't had my brows done in about a month because our mom does our brows. Like she cleans it up and everything. And this makes it look like I just got them done. So I highly recommend this concealer if you guys have not tried it. And they do sell these in Sephora now, so that's where I got mine and I'm obsessed with it. And while I'm still talking about Anastasia products, I also wanted to mention this contour cream kit. And this is in the shade Deep. You guys, I am like so like late on the bandwagon for this product because I haven't always contoured my face. But I've recently, for the past year, like all last year I started contouring and all this year I've been doing it as well. But I use my Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick to cream contour. And I haven't really dabbled into any other products to cream contour. So I was like really intrigued by this product because it's a palette and it looked like it would last a long time so my favorite shades are the bottom three of course I love these two at the bottom these are the two that I use the most and I did use this middle orange shade one day to color correct my under eyes because I was looking a little sleepy that day and I had like dark circles this is really good to color correct if you have dark spots or dark circles so I really like this and it goes really well with darker skin tones that's what this palette is for obviously this is the deep palette i love the formula of this these are super creamy and they're really easy to like blend out they're really blendable shades of course i haven't like dabbled in this light shade because i like my own concealers that i use for my under eyes or whatever so the rest of them are really nice pretty brown shades and you cannot go wrong with a nice contour palette okay guys so my next favorite is a lip product and this is the kylie cosmetics lip pencil in the color love bite this is one of the colors that she came out with like this past month i think month and a half maybe mm -hmm. and she came out with two other colors the other color that i really like is brown, brown sugar. sugar it's like a gorgeous color but I wanted to narrow it down to one color, one of her newer colors from the past month. And Love Bite just stuck out to me. I love it. It's like the perfect, like, everyday shade for darker skin tones. But if you are a little bit lighter, this is gorgeous for the fall time on its own. But the lip pencil, I've been mixing with, like, everything, of course, because y'all know how we do. Mm -hmm. But I've been loving this with Grunch by ColourPop. Y'all know ColourPop's Grunch lip pencil is, like, my holy grail. But I've been using this on the outside, and I do Grunch in the center, and it just looks so pretty i have the combo on today and i feel like it's perfect for every day and i just love the combo together and i also love love by by itself of course i've been wearing it a lot actually but this is a great color for deeper skin tones and i think it's absolutely gorgeous and i think kylie did a great job with this color i love 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 it so the last makeup item i have here is an eyeshadow and this is from ColourPop. this is the super shock shadow in the shade la la i forgot which collection it came with when they sent this to us because this just stood out to me immediately. I wasn't even paying attention to the collection. I was like, I need that. I need that on my lid right now. This is the perfect rose gold shade. It's like one of the prettiest rose gold shades I have in my collection. It just looks amazing on the lid. I'm wearing it today. And I also wore this to the Beyonce concert and it looked amazing with the look that I did. I used my matte shades from my Anastasia Renaissance palette and it looks so pretty together. This will look pretty on any skin tone. Like this will complement like anybody's lid. And like I said, it has like a really nice pinky undertone. And their formula is really smooth and velvety. Mm -hmm. And they just really have a unique line of shadows. So I highly recommend shade La La. It's bomb. Okay, so our next favorite is also a matching favorite. And this is a setting spray from Caudalie. Mm -hmm. Caudalie. And this is Jason Wu for Caudalie, actually. This is the Jason Wu packaging. This actually has an original packaging. Oh, the top is not gold, it's silver. But mm -hmm. this is like a special edition. But it's the same product. product. Yes. Yes. 
Um, but these are travel sizes. We just want to try it out, see how we liked it. But mm -hmm. we are gonna get the full size. So yes. this stuff is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. It's not just a setting um, spray to set your makeup, but it's also good for radiance. So you can also spray this all over your face for hydration and radiance. Like if you're, you're not, not wearing, wearing makeup. makeup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so you can spray this without makeup, or you can use it as a setting spray and spray it on your makeup. Mm -hmm. So I sprayed this today. I want to spray more because yeah, it's so nice. It smells it's like, like really minty. It's so has fresh and the, like. Perfect oh. peppermint yes. smell is really yeah. refreshing. So if Very you're not easy. a fan of peppermint smells, like oh, minty yeah. smells, you might not like this. You won't like it, but <laughs> if you do, it's so refreshing. It's like a breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. I almost feel like this is like aromatherapy also because it just feels like mm -hmm. take a deeper breath when yeah. you spray. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do have an aromatherapy diffuser that I just started using, and peppermint oil is actually good for headaches. So that's probably also maybe that's why it makes me feel better. It's like relaxing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I haven't used this without makeup, even though it says you can. So I will be trying that without makeup some days when I want to just look radiant and fresh face. Mm -hmm. But like Kelsey said, I use it to set my makeup like right before I put my lashes on. And I also like to spray it like near my cheek area and apply my highlight after and it makes it like a little bit more glowy. Yeah, you did tell me that. So I, I do like yet. to use it for that as well. This is like a nice versatile product that you can use for multiple things. And again, the smell is just impeccable. Yes, and it did make my makeup last a very, yes, very long time. Yes, I was time. kind of shocked. I was shocked. Like, I almost like this just as much as my Urban Decay be slick, if not more. Mm -hmm. Mainly because of the smell. Yes, <laughs> and it says this is a 100% natural fragrance. Okay. And it's against animal testing. Oh, good. So mm -hmm. this is a really nice product. Highly recommend this. And on the site, they do say that this is good for oily skin. So I was mm -hmm. kind of skeptical about trying this because I thought this was for dry skin. But yeah. it's not. You can use it if you have combination or oily skin. So mm -hmm. love this. Bomb. Okay, we have another matching product. <laughs> this is a hair product and this is the PYT Blow Dry Spray. Mm -hmm. And Kendra and I got sent a package from them a while ago with like shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioner. And, and I tried this. And this, of course, and like oils. But I tried the um, deep conditioner and the shampoo and conditioner and they worked okay. Like I wasn't like super impressed, but this blew yes. us away. This mm -hmm. blow dry spray is the absolute truth. And it works just as good as our camera blow dry spray. And y'all yes. know that's like holy girl status for mm -hmm. us. It helps our blow drying time decrease so much. Mm -hmm. And this does it's the, the same exact thing. same thing. It says it cuts drying time for speedy blowouts, protects and nourishes for all hair types. Oh yeah. So this is amazing. Like Kelsey said, we use the camera blow dry spray to help us get through blow drying faster because that's my least favorite part of yes. doing my hair when I straighten it. It takes so long. Forever. But this, it smells amazing and it works just as good as the candle one. Mm -hmm. I will say this is basically a dupe for that. Yeah, I agree. And mm -hmm. it also makes it shiny like the candle spray does as well. I love the natural sheen that it gives the hair as well and it's not greasy which is a big thing also for me. Like I don't really like greasy products but who does? No. But this is really it light. It doesn't weigh the hair down. Yes. Yeah. Which is also good. Mm -hmm. So it says for all hair types. So if you like blow dry sprays, then you should probably try this. Yeah, and I think it um, it doesn't weigh the hair down because it's almost like water based. Yes, it's very liquidy. But like you said, it gives the hair a really nice shine. Mm -hmm. Like after you finish blow drying and going to flat ironing, mm -hmm. and it's a heat protecting as well, which is like super super convenient. And it has like a really nice sweet like mixed with like cologne musky smell. Well, uh, the smell is amazing. It's so good. A lot of their products do smell like this, so I will say this smell is like amazing. It's really light. It's mm -hmm. not too strong, but it's still really pretty. Yeah, it's smelling. a nice smell. Yeah, we'll link this down below for you guys because you mm -hmm. have to try it. It's amazing. Yes. Okay, and my last product is another hair product, and this is the Living Proof No Frizz Nourishing Oil. And this is actually the smaller bottle, so eventually I'm going to have to get the Big Daddy bottle because this does come in like a huge bottle. It's like so big. And I think it's like a 3.4 ounce or something. Yeah, and this is actually only point. 85 fluid ounces. We did travel with this. We both um, brought this with us when we went out of town and like I said it was humid. It's, I don't know what in Miami and this kept our hair nice and smooth because you know, a lot of people were asking like how are you guys keeping your hair straight in the Miami weather. I was mm -hmm. like a hair oil. That's usually the answer to our hair prayers when like we go somewhere mm -hmm. it's like humid or something like that. Just use a really good hair oil that's not too greasy because then you, you don't want to wear your hair down but this is like the perfect happy medium because it's not too watery but it's not too thick either yeah. it's like the perfect like formulation so i really really like this as well living proof is fastly becoming like one of my favorites for my straight hair i just 
love 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 it i kind of want to try the shampoo and conditioner from this line uh -huh. the uh, no frizz line oh it smells so good i yes, love the smell. the smell of their products are like very signature all of them smell the same they're really mm -hmm. consistent yeah with their scent and it's like a really nice salon smell light salon smell whatever salon smell like like floral <laughs> perfumey but not too like strong yeah i get a perfumey uh scent from this but uh -huh. it smells really really nice this serum is absolutely amazing y'all have to try it we love 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 this so that pretty much completes our September favorites. You guys let us know if you guys want us to start doing a separate favorites video for like our random favorites. We can mention like music because a lot of people ask us like about music we're listening to. Mm -hmm. And we can mention like food. We can clothes, mention clothes. Shoes. Shoes. Because like sometimes I do like wear out like certain things every month. Like certain tennis shoes. Like we wear a lot of sneakers. Mm -hmm. So we can like mention those kind of things to you guys. So let us know if you guys want us to start doing a separate random favorite video because we can't do that for you guys we want to start incorporating that candles since oh, fall yeah. is here we can include candles well, i don't know we might have too many of those yeah. but yeah we can start just including yeah move the candles onto the random favorites because yeah. we just want to start incorporating that into um the new year like we want to start doing that for 2017 but we can go ahead and start if you guys would like us to so just let us know in the comments if you guys like that idea so yeah that completes this favorites video and we'll see y'all next time <laughs> Oh, <laughs>